Chapter 6 Then the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the people of Israel, and give them these instructions. If some of the people, either men or women, take the special vow of a Nazarite, setting themselves apart to the Lord in a special way, they must give up wine and other alcoholic drinks. They must not use vinegar made from wine, they must not drink other fermented drinks or fresh grape juice, and they may not eat grapes or raisins. As long as they are bound by their Nazarite vow, they are not allowed to eat or drink anything that comes from a grapevine, not even the grape seeds or skins. They must never cut their hair throughout the time of their vow, for they are holy and set apart to the Lord. That is why they must let their hair grow long. And they may not go near a dead body during the entire period of their vow to the Lord, even if their own father, mother, brother, or sister has died. They must not defile the hair on their head, because it is the symbol of their separation to God. This applies as long as they are set apart to the Lord. If their hair is defiled because someone suddenly falls dead beside them, they must wait for seven days and then shave their heads. Then they will be cleansed from their defilement. On the eighth day they must bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons to the priest at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest will offer one of the birds for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. In this way he will make atonement for the guilt they incurred from the dead body. Then they must renew their vow that day, and let their hair begin to grow again. The days of their vow that were completed before their defilement no longer count. They must rededicate themselves to the Lord for the full term of their vow, and each must bring a one-year-old male lamb for a guilt offering. This is the ritual law of the Nazarites. At the conclusion of their time of separation as Nazarites, they must each go to the entrance of the tabernacle and offer these sacrifices to the Lord, a one-year-old male lamb without defect for a burnt offering, a one-year-old female lamb without defect for a sin offering, a ram without defect for a peace offering, a basket of bread made without yeast, cakes of choice flour mixed with olive oil and wafers spread with olive oil, along with their prescribed grain offerings and drink offerings. The priest will present these offerings before the Lord, first the sin offering and the burnt offering, then the ram for a peace offering, along with the basket of bread made without yeast. The priest must also make the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. Then the Nazarites will shave their hair at the entrance of the tabernacle and put it on the fire beneath the peace offering sacrifice. After each Nazarite's head has been shaved, the priest will take for each of them the boiled shoulder of the ram, one cake made without yeast, and one wafer made without yeast, and put them all into the Nazarite's hands. The priest will then lift the gifts up before the Lord in a gesture of offering. These are holy portions for the priest, along with the breast and thigh pieces that were lifted up before the Lord. After this ceremony, the Nazarites may again drink wine. This is the ritual law of the Nazarites. If any Nazarites have vowed to give the Lord anything else beyond what is required by their normal Nazarite vow, they must fulfill their special vow exactly as they have promised. Then the Lord said to Moses, Instruct Aaron and his sons to bless the people of Israel with this special blessing. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. This is how Aaron and his sons will designate the Israelites as my people, and I myself will bless them.